Hey! Oh, shut up. Uh, happy holidays! Merry Christmas. Happy December 20. Happy December 23rd! Thank you for I'm joining us by nice. our fire as we talk about when you will get paid for all the work you did during AEP, when you'll get that VBE HRA money, which is separate, and how do you get ready for OEP? Oh, EP. Oh, oh, oh EP. EP. Here we go now. Stay tuned. All right. When can people expect their money? Money, money, money. Okay, money, 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 money. so. Per CMS rules, they cannot pay you for AEP business until after January 1st. So when that first that rule first went into effect, carriers were like, well, cool. Yeah, no doubt. We can pay anytime after January 1st, and they were paying way after. We're gonna uh -huh. be paying way after. And then like a little arms war started, and they were fighting to see who could pay faster mm -hmm. to differentiate themselves which was good for agents. Yeah. And United came out of the shot and went a boom, paying on January 2nd. I can't pay faster than that. It does vary by carrier. And we asked everybody when they were gonna pay. United said, yeah, we will pay on January 2nd. Awesome, thank you. Anthem said, we will pay sometime the week of January 6th. January 6th, the next okay. week. You can do that. Uh, as you might imagine, WellCare did not take our call. No, just kidding. <laughs> WellCare said we will pay the week of January 15th. Aetna said they will pay on the 5th. And Humana said, don't quote me on this, but we're gonna pay between the 8th and the 15th. So in Close. general, that's really good news because yeah. none of them are saying February, which yeah. is what we had dealt with in the past where a lot of them are like, we'll pay you when we wanna pay you because we can keep it on interest and we don't have to pay you because the government said we don't have to pay you. So everything is good, it's coming, it just will vary because some people get that UHC check the first week right. and they're like, where's the rest of my money? Get me my money. I want my money. Um, how about the VBE, the HRA, the health assessments? People were doing this season to get that extra $50. So the carriers, we know that Humana and Anthem are paying in January. So I'll give a shout out, Chris Murray to WellCare. That's been paying all along. And oh, they didn't pay, yeah. That's been paying all along. Awesome. That was nice, thank you. Thank you. Um, and United fall down on this one a little bit because they said they're oh, not going to pay until February. February. Okay, you can't you can't be the best at everything, but you can try try to get that up there. Maybe this year. I, I don't think we're going to have that VBE next year because the way CMS changed the rules. Mm -hmm. So if you did it and you made some, made some extra money, smart an extra fee, you were smart and you were good and you helped the company. Um, let's talk about OEP. OEP. Agents keep saying. What, a, what, uh, what, uh. They say that. Yeah. Uh, 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 I don't uh, know why it's so confusing. This uh, is a, a the third yeah, three months. I don't know why it's so confusing though. People, because they know they can get in big trouble from a compliance standpoint. Right. So they're nervous because they can't do certain things. What can't they do? You cannot market it to people that you can change. You can't willingly say, change. It's OEP. You have one change. We could rewrite it. If you don't do like your med advantage that you picked during AEP, call me and I can put you in a new plan. You can't say that. So people think, oh my God, I can't say anything. Right. And then they call us and they say, why is the this company doing seminars and mailing and sending postcards to my clients and running TV ads and what? You can still market. Just do what you normally do all year long. Just don't mention OEP. Right. Don't put it in your marketing materials, your print materials. Don't say it to anybody verbally. Just don't say it. Just say, are you having questions about Medicare? Are you ready to retire? Are you blah, blah, blah. Do your normal marketing. And if they come to you, you might have to use your OEP election. Okay? So don't, don't panic. OEP is fine. Just don't use the word OEP. It's also a really good time for all of your clients that you wrote during AEP to get them to go and use their insurance. Yeah, so the best way you can cut down on complaints and rapid disenrollments and other people snagging your clients during OEP is for you to proactively call all your clients that you wrote during AEP and say, how's it going? Have you used your insurance yet? Have, you, got, have you scheduled that physical? You yeah. know, Humana has that go 365 where you can get 25 bucks if you get a physical and you get a flu shot and you get a mammogram and you do all those things. Or have you your used OTC? it? Have you signed up for the go 65? Have you signed up Humana Rewards or all the different? Yeah. Have you used your OTC card? The way you 
retain agents, get referrals, build persistency, stop complaints, is not going on vacation January 1st. Be touchy. Is, yeah, is touch them. Be sticky. Those are called sticky products. Call Great reason them. to stay relevant. And it's funny, the young people are so crazy. So my son has a virtual assistant, right? Because you go on Fiverr and you pay somebody $4 an hour. And he's like, awesome. I want you to call all my clients and I want you to ask them if they've used it and explain it and blah, blah, blah. And, so, and <laughs> the, the young people think us, we're stupid. He thinks we're all living yeah, in the dark funny. ages, which in many respects we are. Like, you know? But if you would like a virtual assistant and you want to help figuring out how to set that up, we can do that for you. That is funny. Um, if not, hire a teenager or do super old school like me where you just call them. I just sit there and call so many people a day. How's it going? Have you used your plan? You have questions? Your doctor? Sometimes that old school is the best way. And just get ahead of those complaints because some people will say, I am really mad right. because I got my ID card and it says this doctor and I don't want to see this doctor. It's like PPO, don't see the doctor. Right. No, you don't have to see the doctor. It's not a gatekeeper, it's PPO. They, ha they had to have a doctor's name on it. And if you remember, when we applied, which they don't, because it was two months later ago, you didn't have a doctor, because your doctor retired, we and, and, we, and I just picked one, and you said that was fine, right. and I told you you didn't have to see him. So you just have to refresh people's memories, because a lot's happened in their life, with mm -hmm. COVID and the holidays too, and kind of resell it a little bit, and stop those complaints because for us as at the FMO level, what happens the first quarter is all the complaints come in. Okay? You did this, you did that, you did, and then we have to help you get those complaints yep. responded to in a timely manner. A lot of you blow them off and you get terminated. I'm gonna have to take off the sweater because I am just about ready to pass out, it's so hot. Okay, well, Merry Christmas to everyone. Happy holidays. Thank you all for working with us. I hope you have a safe and happy holiday. Diane. Let's okay. cut the film before she takes her, her cut off. Cut.